How does a hot startup determine what it wants to be as it grows older? We welcome Tim Morrissey, who is CEO and co-founder of Artemis Robotics. And thank you so much for being the sponsoring entrepreneur for the 2021 Launch Case Competition. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. For someone not familiar with robotics or engineering, what is an actuator? What is Hazel technology? Artemis Robotics is a robotic hardware provider. We are making a new form of actuator, which an actuator is essentially something that gives you motion. And so in the same way, a computer chip is what does all the thinking in a robot. We are what does all the moving in a robot. But what we do unique at Artemis is we're actually trying to make robots and other systems move more like you and I through the use of what we call artificial muscles. And what we mean by that is using flexible and compliant materials in the same way that you and I have flexible and compliant systems on our own body. Artemis has developed this really cutting edge technology. You've already booked revenue, some with government contracts, some with private individuals. Would you describe yourselves as technology in search of a product or a product that you know you want to produce and now you're just developing the technology internally in order to market it and, and ultimately produce it? It uh, depends on which day you ask me that question, <laughs> probably. We're definitely both. The, the thesis of Artemis, the problem that we are trying to solve big picture is that we believe there's a mismatch between what is being automated and what should be automated. And what I mean by that is there's been a ton of advances in the intellectual side of things, thanks to machine learning and artificial intelligence. But the same is not true for the physical side of the things, the things that move. And that's where this artificial muscle technology comes from. So holistically, if you look at the industries of robotics and automation, we know the problem. We need to make things move better in the same way we've made things think better. However, how you execute on that from the ground up, which motion challenges do you solve first? Well, on those days, we do sometimes feel like a technology looking for a problem. Where do we implement first is something we've been working on. So let's talk about that for a moment. Internally in your company, what do these meetings look like? So in the company, a few big things we've done recently is hire an MBA director of business development whose sole job is to get other organizations into our innovation cycle and vice versa. What we're doing is we're identifying different applications that could use our componentry technology, technology, excuse me, and working closely with them. So literally it's a very collaborative environment. We have a very new way to make things move. And so how they move in someone else's uh, environment is, is super important. Some, some examples of that are in the automotive industry. There's a million actuators, that's an exaggeration, but there's literally hundreds <laughs> of actuators on a modern car and work, we can help do that. Every new car comes out with more and more automated motion, a latch that's automated, a seat that's got something unique about it. We can help move that forward. If you move the clock ahead two years, what would a grand slam, not just a home run, but a grand slam look like for Artemis? So in the two years, we're going to have product in the market at scale. So today we're fortunate enough to have 19 customers all in development stages. So some have purchased multiple times and that's starting to scale up a little bit, but I'm talking repeatable POs where we're manufacturing this critical component and it's out in the world. And then what's best is that this same core component, it's applicable in a multitude of industries. So in the same way that back in the 70s, the computer chip was used in calculators and computers and then eventually in cars, we see ourselves being the same. We have this critical motion component that's gonna be used maybe in industrial automation first and then into auto automobiles and then maybe into healthcare and then defense contracts. And so within two years, we need to make sure we have at least one of those applications over the line. And how about if you turn that same clock ahead five years? Everywhere, we're just everywhere in the same way Computers are everywhere now. Automated motion will be everywhere. Uh, near and dear to us is absolutely healthcare applications. But man, even five years taking a bleeding edge technology like what we have today and getting it in market, it's a challenge. So that's a slow moving industry. I'm pretty passionate about it because direct in positive impact on others' lives, but a challenge for sure. What do you think is Artemis's competitive advantage outside of your IP? Uh, it's definitely our team as well. We're super fortunate that a lot of the core inventors that, that are passionate about this technology did decide to come over and join us at Artemis. And so we have a team that's uniquely capable to connect real world applications and draw those right down 
to the IP that you mentioned. I see too many uh, startups like myself from academic spinouts where they only have the IP and they never make that connection and it all falls apart, or at least it's not, the value's not realized as much as it could be. My team is really good at keeping their heads up, talking to actual users, actual customers, and then dialing that down to really impressive research uh, endeavors. And finally, what keeps you up at night most about the future of Artemis? Oh, product market fit for sure. We've got ourselves distributed. For better or for worse, we have what I call a diverse customer base. That's good because if anyone falls off, we'll be yeah, all right. Yeah. We don't have all of our eggs in one basket, but it also restricts us from getting real momentum in any one area. How we've combated that is just growing the team. We're now 10 people, but at the same time, we're burning resources faster than ever. And so that mismatch of product market fit and timing, that's definitely my biggest challenge. Tim, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Tim Morrissey, CEO and co-founder of Artemis Robotics and the participating entrepreneur for the 2021 Launch Case Competition.